let me tell you something. That whole situation is why I don't trust niggas when they be like, hey man, let me holler at you about this little nigga. I got this little. I, oh boy, we about to get paid. Yeah. When nigga get talking with that excitement, nigga get a glow in his eyes. Mm-hmm. It's hard for me to believe it, bro. It's hard. For, bro, I, was, I don't understand how you got a whole show, your own breakfast club, yeah. and you still got a scheme but on the side. I, I don't, so I, I won't allegedly. All this is alleged. So mm-hmm. please don't think that we speak in facts. This is opinions based on what I read. Mm-hmm. So basically, like what they was doing is like we finna go out. We gonna find these properties. Mm-hmm. Y'all just put some money in so we have the capital to do so. And once we make a profit on it, everybody going to eat. Mm. That's basically the language that they trying to sell. Yeah. Right? But when you start talking about I gave you a million, two million, three million, and you can't backtrack. There's ledgers. There's there's paperwork that should be in place mm. to say I spent the money here, here. And you can't find my million? Yeah. Oh, we got a fucking problem. Mm. Like, how do you... Like, so that's where I think... The the whole scheme shit came in there because I do believe that uh, when when 2020 hit and pandemic hit and all this shit, now you look at interest rates. Man, if y'all paying attention to the real estate market, y'all know, man, interest rates is shit, everything is shit. Mm-hmm. So it's like the smart thing what to do is like, all right, and if I ain't spending the money, let's hold it until the market gets back right. I truly believe mm-hmm. That some of that was like, I right, I don't think they took it and was like, I'm going to go live a lavish life. Mm. I think it could be a situation, though, again, allegedly, mm. where they took that money and tried to allocate it somewhere else because of what was going on here yeah. and then come back and, you know, and put that money back and make a profit somewhere else, right? Mm. I think where they got caught is taking that money, trying to do this, and that shit ain't working out, mm. and now you ain't even got the money to put back in that you kind of, and I think, the reason why we ain't got an explanation of that is because if you come by and tell people, yo, I took your money and the initial plan wasn't working, I just went ahead and made my move, mm. you that's an L for you. Yeah. Mm. But now, and this is the thing that like I want people to pay attention to because like in the rap industry, you know how it got this whole snitching culture, right? Mm-hmm. And it's shunned upon. But like everybody knows DJ Envy is not a, he not no could do none of that. His daddy was an officer, all he, but he tells you all this. His wife, his wife is the big dog with the pants. <laughs> yeah, I'll let him let you get off. <laughs> I don't want to disrespect him. She, she, she took that nigga. She took that nigga on tour, and he had to apologize. It's your girl's tour, she not a to, world tour. <laughs> he had to apologize for the cheating. apology tour, man. I ain't, the fuck, man I ain't gonna get up, but I'm saying, mm. like, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Is like, like he got all that going for himself, and. He knows he's not no hood dude, but then now he's saying like now if you've seen like there's a Caesar versus DJ Envy because mm. like I think they have different representation mm. and like the, yeah well, I'm almost certain they do, and their lawyers are advising them on certain things different ways. Mm. And Envy's taking the stance like man, if some money was given to Caesar and the Ponzi scheme was built, that's all him. I don't know nothing about that. Mm. I'm taking my hands off it. I'm still looking for you know he got all this. Shit where it's like, nigga, go talk to him. Yeah. And when it first came out, it was like, yo, Caesar's my brother, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and like, you know, we did right by people, boom. It was like support, support, support. But now it's like, you see when the shit hit the fan. Mm. That's why I tell everybody all the time. It's like, man, if you ain't doing good business, you ain't got shit lined up and you know you ain't on no stand up, stand up shit, mm. you better, you better, you better go into those type of situations where you being grimy mm. with a nigga you gonna die with. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, bar none, we gonna do the time together, we going in the ground together. And it ain't it ain't too many niggas out there like that. That's, mm. that's the point I'm making. Yeah. So if you gonna like if you ain't on the up and up, then you better be ready for everything that's coming for you. I truly believe that they finna owe a bunch of money. I don't know if DJ Envy, he may be able to get out of this himself, but I think that Caesar dude mm. finna face a whole lot of backlash. Now he is, his name is tainted. I know DJ's Envy name is tainted. And I think when shit like that happens, it trickles down to your other business. Definitely. I can see the Breakfast Club losing credibility, mm. right? I can see his car shows losing credibility. I could see his advice in general losing credibility. And I I, I could just see Caesar mm. putting all the weight that nigga. Yeah, yeah. 